We've got about one month left until exams. So let me talk you through this one month revision plan, which yes, is one that I've previously posted, but I think so many of you might have missed it because it's from a couple of years ago now and it still works. And it worked for all the students who watched it previously. So here is my one month revision plan to help you make the max amount of progress in the time we've got left. And don't forget, you can now sign up to my Pick and Mix live lessons, GCC and A-level running through May and June, which I'll link in the description below. Best of luck, everyone. So I'm going to be guiding you through a one month revision plan because that's basically what you've got left until your A-levels now. So going through this plan, I'm going to tell you week by week the best plan, structure and strategies to follow to help you ensure you get exam success. So let's get into it. So we begin with week one. Now in week one, you probably would have done some of these things right at the start of your revision, but it's good now to do this again. And that is to review your strengths and weaknesses. You've only got one month left to go. So we need to review where you really need to prioritize your time in this final month. So have a look through your notes, have a look through exam questions you might have done, analyze them you could use marks analysis and if you've never heard of that i'll link a video i've got up here which talks to you how to analyze your tests or i've got a free guide that you can check out as well but essentially this is a way to look through questions you've already done to work out what you're really good at and what you need to improve on and the sections that you need to improve on that is your gold mine meaning if you can improve on that that is your ticket to get an A or an A star. So spend some time in the first week reviewing your notes, reviewing exam questions, and really focusing on which topics and skills you still lose the most marks on. Then use that knowledge to create a new revision plan for the final month making sure you dedicate more time to the topics and skills that you find harder. And in that way, you'll still be covering all of the other content so that you don't forget it. But by dedicating more time to your weaknesses, you have the best chance of improving in them. And that is the best way to improve. Now, when you come up with your revision plan, make sure you're being realistic. And by that, I mean, you are giving yourself enough time to cover what you want to, but also you are planning in revision breaks and time to relax. Because in this final month, it's really important that yes, you are working and improving, but you're looking after your physical or mental health as well, so that you don't burn out. You also want to make sure you're shifting your revision much more towards practice questions in the final month. And you can go to your exam board website to get whole past papers. But at this point in the first week, it's probably best still to focus on topic by topic or skill by skill. And if you go to my website, which I'll link down here, I've got loads of packs of free exam questions organized by topic or by skill. So definitely check that out for week number one. Okay, so week two, you are now implementing the plan that you have in place making sure that you are really focusing on the topics that you find the hardest. So you might be reviewing your textbook, online resources, or if you have my A-level notes, this would be the perfect time to be using my A-level notes because in those I cover the entire specification, I indicate the key marking points as well and have topic summaries. So that'd be a great way to make sure that you are consolidating and understanding all of that key information. Now don't spend all of this week literally just reading information because that's passive. So you're better off testing, can you remember the information that is in my notes? And that could be doing things like blurting or it could be giving the notes to someone else and they will ask you, tell me what this word means means or talk me through this process. But the key is checking that you know all that information by testing yourself and also making sure, like I said, the focus in the last month is exam questions. So focusing on the topics you find harder, but also making sure you're doing exam questions based on those topics. And as with all of the weeks, revision breaks are essential. So make sure you've put in to your revision plan, when you're gonna go outside and get some fresh air, when you're gonna go on a little walk, when you're gonna to talk to people, because revision can be very lonely and isolating. So make sure you are putting in breaks that include some sort of social interaction and something physical to make sure you are keeping fit and getting some fresh air as well. Week number three, the shift here is now quite heavily onto exam technique. So now you should have the knowledge pretty much consolidated and we're just going for lots of exam questions, focusing on different types of questions. So application, practical, maths. And if you do need help with any of these exam techniques, check out my playlist that I have got and I'll link it up here. I have got an exams technique playlist that covers 
all of the techniques that you need. It talks you through how to improve, how to get the most marks in exam questions as well. And as I said, I've got my bundles of questions linked to particular exam skills questions. So check that out for more support. At this point as well, you might be starting to find that revision is becoming a big drain. And like I said, it can be really lonely and isolating. So you might want to consider forming a study group with like-minded students so that you are getting that social interaction, but also you have someone there to support and motivate you and you can do the same for someone else. So a study group would be really key at this stage to make sure that you don't lose motivation or burn out in those final couple of weeks before your exams. As well as that, make sure that you are getting enough rest and sleep. Revision times are tough, they are exhausting. And if you aren't giving your body the rest it needs, particularly your brain, then you won't be able to process and remember information to the best of your brain's ability. So make sure you are planning your time so that you are finishing before eight, nine at the latest every night. So you have a chance to unwind and therefore relax as well. The final week, week number four of your last month, you should now be mainly focusing on exam questions, but entire papers. So at this point, you should have your knowledge secure, your exam technique secure. Now you're doing entire papers in exam conditions. So that's meaning no notes and you're doing the whole paper. So for AQA, that's two hours long. You need to set aside a two hour block where you're gonna sit down and do the paper as if it's an actual exam. Then spend the time to mark it, review, are there any topics or skills that you're still losing lots of marks on, and then spend a little bit of time practicing those before you go on to the next pass paper. So that will be the process of this final week. You might also find that will be beneficial to create some extra flashcards for key marking points that you notice, or any particular topics you are frequently losing marks on to test, test, test yourself to get it into your memory. And as I've said for every week, make sure you've got rest breaks in there as well. So that takes me to the final day, what you should be doing the day before your exam. Now this does depend completely on what your exam timetable looks like, whether you have two exams in a day or you've got just that exam, then a week break. But generally speaking, try to avoid cramming. Because if the day before you just cram in as much information as possible, it can really overwhelm you. And that will mean that the information doesn't stick. You can stress yourself out and start to panic. So instead, trust in your plan. You have followed this month plan. You followed your revision beforehand. Trust that you have done enough to succeed. And in that final day, do some flashcards on the topics that you find hardest and maybe any final questions or exam papers that you haven't done yet. But make sure that you are finishing at a reasonable time. You have a big dinner and a good night's sleep and you relax the night before an exam. Because at this point, the best thing that you can do is make sure that the next day when it is your exam, you are in a good a position physically and mentally as possible. And that will be the best thing that you can do. So make sure you do something that you enjoy to calm you down in that evening, whether it is listening to some music, going for a walk, something that is gonna calm you down for about half an hour to an hour in that evening. And that is it. So by following that four week revision plan, tweaking it for what your particular needs are, you'll be set up with a structured revision plan for success. Trust in your plan and that should lead you to success. Now, if you do need any more help with time management, then I'll link this video just here, which talks you through some of the top strategies to make sure you can fit more into each day. But for now, good luck with your revision and I'll see you in a few days.